If your fixture doesn't exist in our fixture library, or you don't have a manual for it and you don't know what type it is, you need to use the fixture editor, and that's the button down here in the patch window. Tapping the fixture editor brings us up into this screen here. We can now set the DMX address, and this will just be the DMX address while we're in the fixture editor. So I know in my rig that these moving lights, I've got one of those fixtures starts at DMX address 401. So I press and hold the plus 10 button while it quickly scrolls up to DMX address 401. And now the yellow faders, instead of controlling intensity of fixtures as normal, are now controlling DMX addresses or channels. So the first fader does DMX address 401, this one does 402, 403, 404, etc. And what we suggest at this point is keep pushing up faders until your light on stage starts doing something. And there we have it. So you can see I've now got some white light on stage. And now I can go back through the faders one by one and see what they do. Channel 1, not quite sure, might be a strobe function, but I might come back to that. Channel 2, ah, that seems to be my intensity channel. So on the right hand side here, I select intensity and press the add button. And it now shows me over here that channel 2 has been set up to be my intensity channel. I can now go back to channel 1 and decide that that's definitely my strobe channel. So I'll scroll down through my list and find strobe and press add. And channel 1 is now listed as my strobe channel. Next up is channel 3 and that appears to be a zoom function. So again, scroll through my list until I find the word zoom and add. And you can see down the right hand side it's building up a template of what the fixture is and how it's going to be controlled. Channel 3 appears to be my pan control. So again I'll scroll through my list and find pan which is up near the top and add. The next channel, channel 5, 4 was pan, number 5 appears to be doing pan but only a very small amount. This is what we call the fine control. And if you have a fixture with 16-bit pan and tilt that has a coarse channel always and a fine channel. So to store this as the pan fine channel we select pan again from the list and this time there's a small button that says is fine no. We tap on that so it says fine channel and we add it. And now we have a pan non-fine channel and a pan fine channel. We'll probably find the next happens the same with our tilt. There's our tilt channel on 6, so we select tilt and add, and then 7 will be the fine channel for that. So we'll select tilt, is fine, and add for our fine channel. Channel 8, not sure what it does, it doesn't seem to do anything, so we can simply leave it blank. Channel 9 seems to do a colour wheel, so we'll find the colour wheel function and add that. 10, 11 and 12 don't appear to do anything but this can be a catch because often a colour wheel overrides other functions so let's set the colour wheel back to zero and now let's see what these channels do. Ah, they seem to be a colour mix system. Channel 10 is red, 11 is green and 12 is blue. So we'll go to channel 10, we'll select red from the list and add. Green is next, add. Blue is next, add. And they've all been added to my list and I now have 12 channels of control. Uh, still can't work out what channel 8 does, so that's fine, we'll leave it blank. Channel 13 seems to do something, let's have a look. Ah, channel 13 is simply a white channel. So it takes my dark blue and makes it a lighter one. So 13 is white. We'll add that in as well. White, add. Channel 14 doesn't appear to do anything, but I do actually know on this fixture that channel 14 is the reset function and it has 14 channels. So I'll just scroll down to the bottom and I can select my control channel and press add. I might just go back to channel 8, this strange one we found, and I'm going to select other for it. At that point I can just rename it, and I'm going to rename it blank, just so that I know it doesn't do anything. So you can put custom names in if you need to, for any functions that might not appear in the list of common attributes. 
The next stage is we'll tap the next tab and on this screen is where we'll give it a manufacturer name and a model number. So I'm going to call this, um, just I'm going to select AAA as my brand, just to make it quick and simple now, and I'm going to call it a model um, A1234. You can give it real names for whatever you want to do. You can use a proper fixture manufacturer's name, or you can use the name of your company for your custom fixtures so that you don't get them confused. It tells you the DMX channel footprint or how many DMX channels it's going to use. The other very important thing to know about is it's going to set up some home values here. And there's a small instruction across the bottom says, it says use the yellow faders to set the light to the home position you want. So things like pan and tilt will automatically be set to 50-50. If you've got an RGB colour mix, it'll be set on. But things like my zoom channel, do I want it to be a wide zoom or a narrow zoom when I start up? I use the yellow faders to set those levels. So that's very important with things like a strobe. If I had channel 1 at 0, whenever I fade the light up, I won't see it operating. So I'll make sure that the strobe is at 100% when I save it. I'm going to have the zoom at 50%, so it's just halfway. And any other channels I can adjust to get my home parameters that the light will come back to whenever I use it. When I'm happy with all those settings, I press the save button and just wait a few moments and the fixture gets added to my library. I can press OK and then press the mantra button to go back to my home screen. You'll notice at this point the yellow faders have returned to controlling my lights so my stage will lit up. So I'll bring those down. And I'm going to go back to my patch screen now. Set up. Patch. And I can now go patch that fixture by going to my Triple A manufacturer, select that fixture. I'm going to patch four of them to those four positions on my um, console. Set my DMX address to 401 where the first fixture was. And patch. And if I've done it correctly, you'll see that when I bring up the first fader, I've got control of my fixture. So I've patched it correctly. When we're finished, just press the home button twice to go back to the home screen.